All right, welcome to Kabbalah of Adam. Today we're gonna to learn about the Gone Eden, or is it Eden of the Gone? Mm. And we're gonna learn the secret of the four rivers that come out of the garden. Because we have to know what the, we have to learn what Gone Eden is, or the Eden in the Gone, and we have to learn what the four rivers are or else we won't know anything. Because we are doing a series on the resurrection of the dead and the world to come. And one of the terms is you will return to Gone Eden or, or will you return to the Eden in the Gone? <laughs> and what do the four rivers have to do with it? Why do you have to have rivers in Gone? Because our... Our um, view of the whole thing is that the Garden of Eden is a place where there's flowers, trees, mm -hmm. you know, and in the center of the garden is this big tree, and it's got apples on it, you know, and then there's these rivers and streams, and it's just a gorgeous place to be, right? That's our 3D mindset of what we think gone the garden is because of the term garden, you know, place where thing grows. But we will learn today it's something not anything like that. And a better question is how many gone Edens are there? Just to get your it's a little brain teaser. Just get your brain thinking. Okay, today we get to study Torah for the sake of heaven, for the sake of Israel and all Jerusalem, and we'd like to give the merit of our Torah and the merit of our study to Stephen King, Abraham and Moshe Gillard, Jason Shelter, Luna Forum, Han and Samantha Hong, Phoebe Bridges, David Fay, Paul Navares, Garrett Mantlitz, Jordan Mantlitz, the Patients of Texas Oncology, Rita Wilson, Betty Munkuski, Lola Darif, Justin Lakeisha Neal, Bria Wanstaff, Salvia Avrizu, Nadine Freeman, Albert Bear, Billy Hope, Darlene Meowch, Luke Sutherland, Casey Grubb, Noel Cardoza, David Douglas, Leanne Plemons and the family, Tom and Karen Maitland, Carol Tico, Larry Langberg, Juliet Navarez, Leela Briscoe, Yehuda Hyde, Ben Matai, Leia, David Jenkins, Jake Suarez, Jim and Joyce Rogers, Sally Talamantes, the Rogers family, Sean and Wendy Shepard, Damia Washington, Carol Scott and family, Rabbi Richmond, Maurice Greenwood, Gracie Bell Linder, Brett Richardson, Brandy Boots, Amanda Elliott, Benson Ewing, Carol's family, Baby Denard, Michelle Magnuson and family, Jenna Marie, Kimberly Brown, Debbie January, Sandra Hearth, Elvia Rosas, Shelby Williams, uh, Gloria Culliver, Jerry Matlins, Dylan Tico, Amber Merchant, Terry Thomas, Linda Sheffields, Louis Gutierrez and family, Aaron Prize, Jazreed Carroll, Chad Jefferson, Yoheved Bot, Sarah, Sherry Mayers, Dakota Miller, Jerry Gregory, uh, John Scott, Dixie Pring, Lindsey Welch, Brandon's family, Jeanette Town, Todd Sheffield, Terry Rosen Trader, Alanis Perez, and uh, John Graceford, Debbie Henson, Rachel James, Anita Jones, Jessica Ross, Carrie Knott, Salvador Gutierrez and family, uh, Jacob Pinsimka, Max Wagner, Elliot Matledge, Mark Matledge, Emily Bach Tobad, Nayeen Bach Miriam, Jackie Cup, Carla Manzanares, Beth Coleman, Alton Tillman, Brandon McComas, Sarah Bach Sarah, and Dakota Miller. Let me join Zoom here. Join with video. Join with the computer. All right. Ready to record. I'm going to see this, the prayer of Ari. Ruler of the universe and master of all masters, Father of mercy and forgiveness, we thank you, our God and the God of our fathers, by bowing down and kneeling, that you brought us closer to your Torah and your holy work, and that you enable us to take part in the secrets of your holy Torah. How worthy are we that you grant us with such a big favor? That is the reason we plead before you that you will forgive and acquit all of our sins and that they not bring separation between you and us. May it be will before you, our God and the God of our fathers, that you will awaken, prepare our hearts to love and revere you, and may you listen to our utterances and open our closed heart to the hidden studies of your Torah. And may our study be pleasant before your place of honor as aroma of sweet incense. And may you emanate to us light from the source of our soul to all of our being and the sparks of your holy servants through which you revealed your wisdom to the world shine. 
May their merit and the merit of their holiness and the merit of their Torah and holiness support us that we shall not stumble through our study and by their merit enlighten our eyes and our learning as stated by King David, the sweet singer of Israel, open my eyes so that I'll see wonders from your Torah because from God's mouth he gives wisdom and understanding. May the utterance of my mouth and the thoughts of my heart find favor before you, God, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Amen. All right. Today, before we get into serious Garden of Eden, we are going to go through some terminology. Because if you don't understand what I'm talking about, it's a moot point. Okay? So what we're going to do is I have drawn everything on the board, and I'm going to try to pull this even closer here so it doesn't fall. Hey, y'all. Hey, Rosalie. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go through some terminology, and I'll explain what I've written on the board so that uh, everybody, can, everybody can go with me. All right. So my man up here is a representation, a 2D representation of God and everything is contained in God. So the out, out, outside line, this purple line, is the infinity, all right? But I gave it a border, which it doesn't have a border, but I gave it a border so that we can just explain the topic, okay? Now, it hit me the other night on, on, on Shabbat. I went, I went home and uh, I was outside grilling, getting ready for Shabbat. And uh, we come in and we eat and I, and I went outside and I was just kind of looking up at the stars and it, and it, and it just hit me that you, know, you look at the galaxy and you look at the Milky Way and the Big Dipper and everything and, and, and that's when you realize that is only a sea. A sea is the world that's here. So our entire Milky Way, our entire galaxy, all the stars, planets, constellations, that is only a sea. All right? And Asiya is the world that is way down here. We have Yitzira, Berea, and then we're going to have all these other worlds on this map. Okay? So to give you an, uh, an, a feeling of awe of how multidimensional this thing is and, 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 this, and the size of God's mind, which this is only contained in his mind, even though I have it in a body form, To show the resurrection of the body, because we're talking about resurrection, we have to we have to understand each level, and I kind of have it over there. So, if 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 you could just imagine this, imagine if I stuck my hand behind this man, and and pushed out from the center, and telescoped this thing out, it would have, and each one of these rings would pop out. So at, at the very end, toward the camera, I would have a little bitty man that's identified in this color black. Okay, now I just drew a line here, but ultimately it's little bitty like I have drawn right over here that I'll show you guys in a minute on, on the screen, all right? But for the sake of this, for right now, I'm gonna go through the levels and the names and the terminology so that we can have a, a way to communicate about what is the Garden of Eden, all right? The topic is vast as, as you can imagine, but we have to simplify it the best we can to understand the resurrection. So we're gonna start with the Ian Sof, okay? The Ian Sof is the unknowable, you can't explain it, this is, this is this is actual God, okay? As as we perceive it to be, in a pure sense. In a pure sense. Now, that's going to be what's called Keter. That is the top of the top, and the Malchut is is the kingdom. He's the king, and the Malchut is the kingdom, the bottom of the bottom. So when when we do a a, a make a tzimtzum, all right? When he makes a contraction. Do I need to go get my contraction ball? Oh, yeah. <laughs> do I need that? I'm, I'm Teresa, would you do me a favor? Would you run back to my office in the very back and it's laying on the floor? Okay. Uh, get my con expansion contraction ball. So we do a tsim right here. 
and we go to the Ian Sof. Now, the Ian Sof, the or Ian Sof, or or spelled with an olive, this is the light of the Ian Sof. Now, what's going to happen is once this thing gets all the way down, after Adam's fall, we're going to have or with a with an aim, which is Gematria 70, which is the secret of the 70 nations, secret of skin, because or or spelled with an ayin is called skin. All right? And this is called the skin or the feast of Leviathan, which is the return of the 70 nations at the resurrection and all these things. So we're, we're going to get there. But we have to show you the progression of, of it's not even time. Their time doesn't even exist in any of this. All right? So every other one of these is female relative to the male. Thank you. Teresa? So Teresa goes, so this is my expansion ball, okay? And this is my contraction. Keter, Malkut. It still contains everything it's just in a constricted form, okay? This is known as a tzimtzum, just like breathing. Every one of these makes one, boom, 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 in a wave form. So guess what? The resurrection is going to happen the same way. You're going to be dead, you're going to be alive. You're going to be this, you're going to be that. You're going to, it's going to go just, just up like, just like that. All right? Thank you, Teresa. Sometimes a, a visual aid is very helpful. From the, Ian's, from the light of the Ian Sof, so let's just call it from the light of God, the unknowable essence of the mind of God, comes Adam Kadmon. Now, this is not the Adam in the garden, and it's not, not the Adam in the garden. But Genesis chapter 1 is not talking about this guy. Because Genesis chapter 1 doesn't come in until right down here on this board. Because mm -hmm. if you think the Torah is written in alphabetical order, I mean in, in chronological order, you've missed it. This, is, this right here is Genesis 36. So this is the level of the soul called the Yehida, which is the highest level of the soul. All right? Now, out of Adam Kadmon, within Adam, so so this is Yud, and basically let's call it Ian Sof Yud, and let's call the Or and Sof Hey. Yud, Yud and Hey. Alright? And no, it's not Yah, it's Yud and it's Hey. Now, let's go to the let's go to Adam Kadmon. Now, Adam Kadmon, for the sake of this teaching, let's call it a, a person which it's not, okay? Now, this is God. This is how he's zooming himself. This is God. Now, it, within that is what's called Ab, Sog, Ma, and Ben. Male, female, male, female. This is the 72 name of God, which Moses used to part the Red Sea. This is the 63 name of God. This is the 45 name of God, which will eventually manifest itself as Adam in the garden. 3D Adam? No, Atzilut Adam. Okay. Israel is 3D Adam. Okay. okay? And this is the 52 name, which is the final hay, which is why we have 52, which will eventually manifest itself as there's 52 weeks in a year. All right? So these are known as the lights of Adam Kadmo. These are the lights that emanate out of the consciousness of Adam Kadmo, that emanated out of the consciousness of the Orient Sof, that emanated out of the consciousness of the Ian Sof. So we are still in pure, unadulterated, light consciousness but we're going to give it a a physical attribute for the nature of this class okay now out of out of these lights creates worlds 
or aloms, alom haba, the worlds to come, alom hazed, this world. Those are the terms. So, the first one is the world of Akudim. All right? And Akudim is the same word as like bound. So he had everything bound up. The light, the light was tight. All right? So the next world is the world of Nekudim. Now, we, we've done classes on this uh, years ago, and I, I don't even know if I have them on there, but um, this is what's called the world of points or spots. This is where the vessel shattered. So God's trying to make a vessel. He, he's pushing in, and when he pulls out, there's nothing there. And when the light comes in, poof, it shatters, all right, mm -hmm. and creates billions of worlds, billions of things. And then this is the world of Baruti. The world of Baruti, these are the worlds of Adam Kadmon. And Baruti is uh, banded. So when Jacob was at Laban's house and he was working on this three sheep, the banded and the spotted and all that, he was working on these worlds. Those sheep are a metaphor. Mm -hmm. Okay? So from the, from the light of Berudim, comes forth from the light of Ma. This is Adam. Ma is Mem He is Gematria 45. Aleph Dalid Mem is Gematria 45, which is Adam. So Adam has within it the Yud He Va He. Yud Hey Vav Hey is 26, which every which is well known. So if 26 plus 19 is 45. 45 is the gematria of Eve. 19. 19. 45 is Adam, right? 19 is Eve, 26 is Havayah. So you have the masculine and the feminine, or the Hasidim and the Guru. Alright? So with the potential is already there. Bringing it out, this is the same masculine, this is feminine, it's already there, male and female. And it's shattering. So Eve is only, Eve is only running in the crack or the crevice of the world of Nekudim. It was going to shatter. It had to. She's running the formula. We're calling that the sin in the garden. All right? Now, Berudim is the world that it all lines back up, the world of Tikkun. This is the world of Tohu, or chaos, and this is the world of Bohu, or lining back up. All right? Now, which one of these are, are heavens and which one of these are earth? Every Malchut is an earth, and every one above it is a heaven, by definition. But that's not the heaven and earth that we think of. This is earth, and there's heavens above us. That doesn't happen till way down here on the bottom of this page. Now, so these are what we call the worlds of Adam Kadmon. Berudim gives light to the world of Atsilu. This Atsilu is known as God's will. To create. So all of this is happening, and this is its result. The world of Atsilu. This is the will. What's contained in the will? Absad Man Ben, the names of God. What comes what comes out of Absad Man Ben? What's called the Oten Pei and the Tanta, which is the vowels, the letters, everything he's using to create creation on down the line now out of out of Atsilu this is the soul of the Haya because high is Gematria 18 18 if you see my little spine I drew over here 
The neck up is counted as one, the 12th thoracic, and the five lumbar is 18. That's how they count it. So this, this whole thing is running down God's spine. From his consciousness to the limbs, he's creating the whole thing. This is called the body of God. You want, then it's called the body of Adam, Kadmon. Then it's called the body of Adam, Harishon in the garden. But it's running off a system, the neural spinal network system of God called Metatron. <coughs> and Metatron is going to tain, contain all the angelic host. They are his interfacing system that does all this stuff. Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Nuriel, Uriel, etc. Now, once we're still talking Keter, Malchut, so within the Keter of Atsilu, within the top of Atsilu, you're going to have a Tikil Mean and a Tikil Kadesha. And a Recon Peen is the Malchut. Now, if you ever read Daniel before and you say, and you see the word, and the Ancient of Days was sitting on the throne. That's a recon peen. A recon peen is called the Ancient of Days. Now, this is... Dennis. What? What was uh, a Tika Yomi? Um, maybe a Tika Yomi means Ancient Days, and maybe this is Long Face. That's Long Face. Yeah, yeah okay. Long Face. Yeah. All right, so... This is the mind and the head of Adam in the garden. Right here. The head. This is Adam's head. The names in Adam of the garden. Now. Okay. This is the catcher. Now. We have male and the next level down is male and female. It's called Abba and Ima, or Hokmah, wisdom. Bina is understanding. When they're in union, it's called knowledge, or Da'at, Leviathan. Here's the deal. Bina is the bet. This is where Genesis starts. They are now creating this Adamic structure, which is going to give forth to the next male-female that are totally inside each other, which is going to be Zeranthin, or Zeranthine as we say, and the Nukfa. This is Adam, and we're gonna call it the lesser, lower, lowest Adam, and the Shekhinah. Or the Nukva. We're, we can call this Jacob and Rachel. We can call this Israel and the nations. It's just going to fractal out. Mm -hmm. It's going to keep on going. Now, no fall has happened. This is all purity. So, in order, and to speed things up a little bit, Abba is known as Eden. And Ema is known as the Gon. So this is so it's the Gon in Eden. That is their union. And in the middle of the union is a tree. This is the Yesod or the spine of the spine continuum. But it's not complete yet until it hits the seventh. Because we're in Genesis, so until it gets to the seventh, it's not ready. It's so, not until it gets to Zah. Yeah, well, well till it gets till it, till the Nukva is complete, till the kingdom is complete, when she's the seventh. She oh, will to the seventh. She will be the seventh. Alright? So the top is complete, but the bottom isn't. Well, the Creation of light has what we're going to call fallout, and this fallout and this tohu that's up here in the world of Nekudim has now contaminated everything. And this whole thing has a backside 
So this entire thing from Atsilut to the Nukva is known as Adam HaRishon. So when he created Adam and Eve and he put Adam to sleep, that's this Adam. So this is Adam, and inside this is Eve. So he puts Adam to sleep, and now he's got Eve. This is a constriction of the consciousness. When, when this is outside of this, now we have a problem. Because all the external forces, called the citra acra, the other side, can attach itself to it. When it attaches itself to it, it contaminates it. To the male or to the female? To the female. All right? Then the female is connected to the male. That's how it got in. So this is the, so at, 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 at Nekudim, this is what's known as the ninth of all, the destruction of the first temple, the destruction of the second temple, the, the fall of Eve, basically. All right? These are, that's, those are the two Hays. Those are the two Hays of yud heh vav -Hey. Now, each one of these are in union with the other. So there is an Eden in Gan in each one. Mm -hmm. So this one has a Gan Eden, 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 this has a Gan Eden, this has Gan Eden, this has Gan Eden, this has Gan Eden, this has Gan Eden. This is the Garden of Eden in the Torah and Genesis that, that we read about. That, that Adam is now expelled out of it. But Adam is not expelled, so to speak. It's Eve. Adam is the tzaddik. So Adam is doing the tikkun trying to fix Eve. Okay? That is the righteous people trying to bring back the nation of Israel, is female relative to Adam. And, and that is the Shekhinah, the presence of God, relative to lesser, greater, le all the way up the deal. Now, each one of these is only a Malchut with its respective Ketra. True. King, kingdom, king, kingdom, king, kingdom, king, kingdom, king, kingdom, king, kingdom, all the way down. So all the Malchuts line up together. They're all... So I have, a, I have it drawn over for the board when we get over here in a second. Now, once we get the fall of Adam, we now create the worlds of Bia, uh, which is called Bia. It is known. I'm gonna move this. Oh, I'm gonna move it this over a bit. Move this over here. Mike, I'm gonna move you. Over here. Okay. We now have, have gotten, let's call it, outside of God. For lack of a better term. This is the Malchut of Atsilu. Because we're all doing Ketra Malchut, Ketra Malchut. We're not worried about the other Shvirots because they draw all their energy from the Malchut. And by the time the Malchut gets down, it has nothing of its own. Okay? This is what's known as Messiah ben David. This is Rachel. This is why Rachel is not buried in the tomb of Machpelah with Adam, Pava, Abraham, Sarah, Isaac, Rebekah, Esau, Head, yeah, and, uh, uh, and, and Leah. She's, she's buried in, outside that one. Because this aspect of the Shekhinah is in exile, watching over her people. All right? This is the aspect of God that he separated himself from himself so that he could reunite with himself. But it's still all inside of himself. Now, what happens is Messiah ben David, which is this aspect of Rachel, which is an aspect of Eve, which he and Hob, Adam and Hob are in union, so Adam's going too. 
goes down into these worlds. So in Genesis, it says God created. This is the world of Berea. Then it said God formed man. This is the world of Yetzirah. And then it said he made man, and this is the world of Asiya. So when you go out at night and look at all the sun, moon, and stars, that is only the world of Asiya. You're not even seeing Yetzira. You're not even seeing the world of Berea. Malchut of Atzilu is Mashiach, so obviously you're not seeing that. You're not seeing the world of, of Nuk, Za, Abba, Ima, Re, Atik, Atik, Kadesha, Atzilu, Berdin, Nekadin, all the way up. But guess what? They're all contained right here. Every one of them are still contained in it. So, when Rachel goes down, when this aspect of the Shekhinah goes down, it comes down in the form of Messiah ben Yosef. That's why Yosef was the last child of Rachel. Or was it ben Benjamin? Benjamin. Benjamin. But Yosef is, is the one, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, Yo Yosef goes down it, which is the secret of having to go to Egypt. And that's why, hey, bring my bones out of Egypt. Mm -hmm. All that different deal. And so 70 souls go down with Jacob and Yosef and this whole deal. 70, and there are 70 souls of the nations. Now, this is the secret of Isaiah 53. The suffering servant, Israel. Israel has suffered, which is Israel is Adam, has suffered for the sins of the world since that happened. But if you look over here, we've got this other Adam called Adam Bliaal. Basically, it's Adam of the backside. This Adam of the backside is called the Nakash, the serpent. That's why it's in the spine. It's a serpent. This knock up, this value is 358. If, if, you, if you look back over over here to um, Mashiach, Metatron aspect, this is the front side of the operating system. This is the back side. This is the evil inclination, the Citra Akra. Mashiach is Gamashia 3582. It's only a mirror image of itself. The problem is. People think the mirror image is the real thing. We'll, we, we'll, we'll just call this Jesus. Be the simplest thing. Because they say Jesus is Isaiah 53. He never says that. If you read all of Isaiah starting at 41 through 66, it's clear it's Jacob, Israel through the whole thing. It's apparent. If you can't read, you, I, I can't make you read. <laughs> now, but there's this substance out here. We're going to call it radioactive waste for the, this lesson. This is called the klepa. This is the shell. Like a pecan has a shell and, and then the fruit comes out of it. So God, is do, God has to create all this so that there is a klepa so that he can produce something new, new fruit, right? He's trying to create something new that, that he doesn't, that he has distanced himself from so far that he has distilled himself so far that it can work on its own independently, yet he's still sovereignty over it. That's why the word nakash is called the constriction or distilled supernal wisdom or consciousness. Okay? This is called Adam Bliaal. So you have Adam Kadmon, Adam Harishon, and Adam Bliaal. Now, the, the world of Berea is the, is the soul of Neshama. The world of Yetzira is the Ruach. And the world of Yetzia is the world of the Nefesh. This is going to be Atzilut. We're going to have Yud, Hey, Vav, Hey. It's still there. Out of the fall of the world of Asiya, of the seventh, comes what's known as the 70 nations. There you are. If you are not born a Jew, you are one of these. And guess what? This is the 
lower Shechina. This is where the, the klepa is going to come and attach itself to, just like it did in the Gon. On the, this is a female aspect. Israel is, the nations of the world are female compared to Israel is male. Israel is female compared to Adam, which is male. And so on and so on. Now, so, the Gan Eden that is spoken of in Genesis is Abba Hokma is Eden, Ema is the Gan. Zeranpin, which is ultimately Adam, in Genesis 1, is known as the Heavens. It's plural. It doesn't say he created the heaven and the earth. It says he created the Heavens and the earth. Because it's fractals of Adam all the way down. Adam, 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 Adam. Then Zah has to go down in the fall, which is this part of Adam that Adam sends a part of himself in there, which is known as Abel, Malkitzedek, Noah, um, Shem. Shem means the name. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, all the way down. All of these holy men in the Torah are fractal soul roots of Zah, Zerah. All the women, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, Deborah, Hannah, Esther, la di da da are all of the soul of the Nukva, the Shekhinah. That's why they're always doing the Tikkunim. Now, now that we have a good idea, this center point called the Malchut of the Yen Sof through every Tzimtzum layer is known as the Evan Shtia in 3D. That is better known as the rock or the foundation stone that men rejected. It's not Jesus. It's an actual rock over there called the Evan Shtia, which is called the foundation stone, which is where they had the Ark of the Covenant on because that is the center point of the Malchut. That's why the whole world is fighting over that piece of dirt. It's where the original Tzimtzum took place. From the Ian Sof. From the, this is it right here. That's the spot. That's why the Ark of the Covenant sat on there. That's why God spoke through that spot. All right? That's where all the prayers go. Right That's where all spot. the prayers go right there. So let's get back over here. <laughs> all right. So this, uh, this right here. Once we get into Berea, the world of creation, get Sira, the world of formation, and Asiya, the world of completion, I put the Malchut of the seventh right here. But this one has a Malchut, and this one has a Malchut, and this one has a Malchut, do, 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 all the way up. And so this is the Ark of the Covenant. I drew it. It's got an angel sitting right here and an angel sitting right here. Zah is on one side and the Nukva is on the other. And, and when you went into the temple... And I, I, I drew six wings, four wings, and then the two crew. Because uh, in the Talmud, uh, is it is it is it getting? No. Let me look right quick. Uh, Hagiga. Hagiga. It talk, there's a big mock locate. Some some say the angels have six wings. Some say the angels have four wings. Some say the angels have two wings. What are they doing? Are they arguing? Are they are they telling you? Some say they have six wings. Some say they have four wings. Some say they have two wings. They're telling you where. So, this is what's going on here. So, when you get to the Malchut of Yitzira, Berea and Yitzira, this is called the heavens. And he created six. This is a secret of Barashi, and he created six. We could take that same statement and apply it anywhere. But this is the manifestation, the touchy-feely one. 
And, and this is known as Shabbat. Shabbat is the Malchut. That's what's rising in his thought. Is this very thing. It's a, it's, it's a kingdom. It's a place in Israel. It's a day of the week. It's, it's, it's Rachel. It's, it's all of that. It's inseparable because it's layers and it's levels. And it's also known as earth. It's also known as the nukfa. It's also known as the house. It's also known as the bed. It's also known as the door. It's also known as the gate. It, da, 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 da. You know, of all the terms, it's, it's night. This is day. It's just depending on which term you're using to explain something that is unexplainable. All right, so let's go over here to this far side. Far side, remember that far side cartoon? This is, this is the far side, all right? <laughs> all right, so I got you guys over here now. So what I did is on this, I didn't want to draw the ensof, so I drew it in purple as it's everywhere. I didn't want to draw the or ensof, the light of the ensof, so I drew it everywhere. So I started with the first atom. Boom. So this is why all the Christians will say, well, he's the second atom. Jesus is the second atom. If, if he is a atom at all, he's the fourth. By math. So, uh, this is Ak, uh, Sag, Ma, Ben, uh, uh, world of Akadim, uh, Nekadim, uh, Beridim, Atsalut, Atik, Yomim, Atik, Kadesha, Arikan, Pin, Abba, Ima. Oh, here's the Garden of Eden right here. That's how, this is how much more it is. Uh, and here's all our little, here's earth right here, and here's you. You are here. And here's the earth. And here's the heavens. So if this is the heavens, what do you think this is? It's so far above your understanding of what heaven is, you can't understand, you're not going to understand it. But guess what? This, you have to be resurrected. Everything about the earth the whole earth's going to turn inside out. Read Zechariah 14. Abba Ima. And what's going to happen? This is like a travel cup. As the resurrection goes, since it has been pinched and pulled out, it's going to go boom, 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 boom. And when it shoots out the other side, that's the world to come, the world to come, the world to come, the world to come. Now, you got to understand, it's taken 15 billion years to get from the first Simpson all the way to the Garden of Eden. So, all of the constriction, you got to think about this. All of the constriction and compression of light from the ore to Adam Kadmon through every one of these levels. Think of the tension and the pressure and the energy that that's creating. When that is released, going the other way, here it's pain. The only pleasure we have here is during union, male and female union, for a split second. That, that euphoric, organusic experience is a microcosm of that. You take every one of those experiences in every animal, every person, every world, every dimension, and you put them all together at one time, you'll die and come back to life, and you'll die and come back to life, and you'll die. And you see what I'm saying? Boom, 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 boom. The, the, the energy that that's going to create is going to be immense. And that is, is the mon, the, the feminine waters that's going to, that's, that's creating. And, and, and take, take the whole, you got to put the Holocaust in there too. And, and you got to put the pain and suffering of everybody that's ever had cancer. Everybody that's ever gone through anything. Because we live in the world 
of din. We live in the world of din because din is the dalid nun of the word Adonai. It's in the middle. We live in it. So, so that is his king. That's king. That's Lord. It's so. It, it, it's to, to me. It's it's hilarious and comical when people say when people say uh, global warming. Mm. It, it it's retarded. Mm. Or or the uh, annihilation of the world with nuclear weapons. Are you kidding me? Do you think this? is going to let that be destroyed? It's ridiculous. Now, this right here is going to be destroyed. It's called Gog and Magog. Gog and Magog is Gematria 70. He's going to have to cut this off, which is called a circumcision. Every time, that's why circumcision is such a big thing. It's cutting off the cleaver. Boom. Cutting off the cleaver, getting rid of it. He's not going to let anything he created be destroyed that he doesn't want destroyed. Because if you say some man has the ability to do any of that, and that man has to do any of that, all you're telling me is there is no God and he is not in control and he is not charged and he is not king over his kingdom. All right. But this that's called true faith. How much, how much time we got? Okay, we got about 12 minutes. All right, so now let's go through the Leshem and let's listen to what he has to say. Because we still haven't discussed the rivers. Because there's rivers in the Gone. So, yeah, Grandpa died and he's in the Garden of Eden today playing golf with his buddies. Okay. Maybe he is. Which garden? Uh, which golf course? <laughs> All right, so here, here's what it is. And so this, this is Rosh Hashanah 101. Rosh Hashanah 101, there's two days of Rosh Hashanah 101. One is Leah and one is Rachel. Mm -hmm. So here we go. It's, it's the two Hays of Yud Hay Vav Hay. And on to... Uh, Unto Yom Kippur is their complete separation, the complete simsum, all right? And from Yom Kippur to Sukkoth is where they go back into union, and, and this is the whole creation. And guess what? When they get back into union of all this tension, the light that comes out of that is known as Hanukkah. A river, which is Yesod, which is... There's male yesod, female yesod. This is how you create. Goes out of Eden, which is Abba, to water her yesod. Her yesod is the water, which is the gone, which is Ema. The gone goes into its four rivers. What are these four rivers that go into the gone? These are the four that entered the Pardes. Rabbi Akiva, um, uh, what what's the one, what what's the name? Um, Rabbi Akiva came out unscathed, right? Yeah, but uh, I, can't, uh, I can't pronounce them. I, I didn't write them down because I, because the other day I, I just named them all. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, uh, um, the one is called the the one is the other one. That one guy's called the other one. <laughs> but, you know, one, one one went crazy. One died. One one. Uh, one became a heretic, and then Rabbi Akiva. Those are the four rivers that went into the Gaon. Eden is the Keter. The river is the Ot. And the Gaon is the Malchut of Adam Kadmon. The four rivers of Bina are Akadim, Nekadim, and Baradim, and Atzilut. So I've got Bina drawn way down here, but guess what? Oh, there's a Bina up there. There's a... You understand there's an Abba, and, an Abba and an Ima, Abba Bina, of Adam Kadmon. Absolutely. I just wrote them down so we could see them as they are. The rivers in Atzilut are Hesaguru, Teferit, and Malchut. 
the Mohin of Zah, the river's Da'at, and the Gan is the Malchut of Rachel. Eden then is the Malchut of Atsilut, and the rivers are now Bia. I, I see Atsilut and Bia. So it depend, what he's saying is, it depends on where you're looking from, of what, of what the four rivers are. Alicia Benabuya. I knew, <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Alicia Benabuya. He's the he's the one. All right. Then there's the matter of these three terms: Eden, River, and the Four. Eden, uh, Eden, River, and the Gone, and the Four are now the seven lower sphere of the three and the, and the four rivers. So now they're the seven lower sphere of. So there's now the seven lower sphere of the Gone and Eden and the rivers, which is uh, the, ha the Haggad, Hesegubro Tefer, is, is the three, the Gan, the river, and Eden, and then the four lower, which is the Nahi and Malchut, is now the rivers. He just took it, he just took it from the top and he scaled it all the way down. There is a river, and then there is a river. This river below, Bia, is the lesser Metatron, the Da'at of the three worlds that put life into the worlds, which is called Hai, which is 18, or life. So these three, which is, the, which is river, uh, Gan Eden is three, and Bia is three, and the life, which is the Haya that's put into it, is 18, which is 54, which is Nun Dalit, which is the middle letters of Adonai. Now, the river now is called the Little Hokma, which is known as Solomon, if, <laughs> pretty much. He is the little Hokma. There's another little Hokma. His name was Moses. The river feeds this garden, which is called the Orchard of the Holy Apples, which is why that book is named Apples of the Orchard. White, green, and red apples, which are the three, which is considered the female Yasod which is why the tzaddik recl reclines with his crowns in his head. This is known as the Godhead. When you take it down to Malchut, the Garden of Delight, the four headwaters are the four creatures in the world of Berea, which are known as the four Hyo the interface with the seraphim of Yetzirah to the orphim, etc. So he's breaking it down. Now he's really zooming in specifically. The Kav, that is the ray of light that's going into the Tzimtzum, into the Gan, which is the Yesod, the Kav that made the push, come, excuse me, coming from the Ian Sof, is the Yesod of the river that's carrying the whole thing. The four rivers that separate out the Gan, the Malchut of Ak, is uh, Abba, Ima, Zah, Nuk. These are now the four rivers. Because the four rivers came out of the Yud, the Hay, the Vav, and the Hay. All is one thing. I posted the other day, if you start with there is a me, you will think that Mashiach is a savior and that you will need one. Because if you don't think that the Ian Sof and every level I just explained is contained within you, you will think you exist without that and you will need a Mashiach to save you. As soon as you realize you are it, you don't need it. That's, that's because you're a part of it. You won't need it anymore. And you're 
not outside of it. You're not. You're not outside of it. You know, yeah. Teaching Torah is Mashiach. That's why when you read the Talmud, some say the Messianic age started with Adam. Some say the Messianic age started with Adam Paul. Some say the Messianic age started with Noah. Some say the Messianic age started with with uh, uh, Moses. Some say the Messianic age started with with Solomon and David. Some say it was Hezekiah. Mm -hmm. Why? They're they're just drawing one of these, mm -hmm. like I've got over here, and they're and and they're saying, oh, well, some say it was Adam. Some say it was Moses. Some say it was. Uh, Noah, some say it was this guy, some say it was Abraham, some say it was this. Other. Why? It's all one thing. It's called a histoshalut, which is an order of spiritual creation. Histoshalut literally means links in a chain. It's just one chain. If you think you're a separate link, you're going to need saving and you're going to need a Messiah to come save you and put you back in the chain. But as long as you're connected, God. you're not. You're not separated from God one bit. We got a few more minutes. Eden is Abba Hokmah, pure wisdom. The river is Yesod. This is the pure energy that's flowing into her, Ema. The God is Ema. We're coming up on Rosh Hashanah, and Rosh Hashanah is the celebration from our side of the 70 nations returning to the system. Connecting back in. The da'at goes out. The da'at, which is the center. Zah goes into it, and it goes into the nook. This is called the malchut of Atzilut into Bia. So Zah, Adam, Zah, Adam, is going into Rachel, and that's going into these worlds. And Adam is fixing it. Which Adam? All of them. They're all Adam. Because when you shove them back in, it's just one Adam. But are we going to talk about the Adam of Harishon or are we going to say Israel's Adam or Mashiach's Adam? It's all correct. But if you don't ever put it back together, God can never be one. He and his name can't be one. Oh, if Mashiach could just come save us. Save you from what? From yourself? From not doing Torah, not keeping Shabbat, not doing the things you should be doing? The Mohin of Zah in the third in the third iteration gets into Eden, which is now the four Hyot of Berea, which is the four legs of the throne, called the Seraphim. This is Raphael, Michael, Uriel. This is why the and and there's actually five angels, but Uriel and Nuriel are the same. Their names both mean fire. So the so uh, they, the, those two are one. They're like the Netzach and Hod, let's say. So the why are there five? Because it's the tip of the yud yud hey vav hey, but it's yud hey vav hey. These are the four legs of the throne. This is the color purple. Because Argamon, which is purple, is the letters of Ariel, Raphael, Gabriel, Mikael, and Nuriel. That's why purple and sapphire is coming out from underneath the throne. Which is in the Gon. Which Gon? Of Bia. Of the Malchut of Atsilut. But not the Gon that Adam and Hava was in. That's a different Gon. Everything has to get through the Malchut. Nothing can be revealed except through the Malchut, which is the root of Bia. Berea, Yitzir, and Asiya. Each Malchut is lined up on, its own, on itself, from the Keter to the Malchut, from the Ian Sof to the Or, to the Or through its Malchut, and it's iterating all the way down, which is the root of of the of the Orient Sof or the light of God. So if you see, I drew a line here saying your consciousness is connected all the way. There is no break in the chain. Through the mouth roots. This is why the whole Peniel, Peniel, 
the ebon steel was called Peniel by Jacob, and I saw the face of God, and I wrestled with the angel. So he's wrestling, he's, he's got to go through the system. He's wrestling with the angels. He's using the Metatronic system. That is why Sulam, Ladder, and Sinai are the same gematria. This means nothing is standing between it and the Ian Sof, between you and the ultimate mind of the ultimate creator. That's why Shetuf is a big deal. Because you're breaking this link. You're saying, no, I am separate from this system and I got to have something that I can pray to that takes my prayers for me. Jesus, Mary, whatever. That's why as a Noahide, you must reject Shetuf. Mm -hmm. you're, 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 you're connecting with the lower seven of this thing. You're connecting with the God of this thing. You call it the seven laws. That's the most simple thing I've ever heard in my life. It's a starting spot for everybody. But we learned today it's the Gon and the Four Rivers. It depends on what you're looking at. The Malhu of Atsulu is called Rachel that is carrying this whole system. This is, this is the woman of the house and this is her house. There's a Rachel above and a Rachel below. Everything depends upon her, the Adonai. That's why I always say, is it going to be a female Messiah or a male Messiah? The female's got to come first by definition. Everything depends on her. It must be in union with Zah. He's the Havaya. She is the Adonai. Because this is her house. There is a second part called the little Rachel. When Bia goes out of the mother Rachel and it's called the lesser Rachel. And in the future this won't exist. Because everything will go up. And it will just be Rachel. Because there's not supposed to be this Bia, this fallout. There's not supposed to be this contaminated part of creation. But if it wasn't, the 70 nations wouldn't exist. So it's a call to Homer. When it, when it, but when it goes back, it will be gone. But she has to go down with her children because they're in exile. Heard, heard, heard a great joke today. Okay? And it was so fitting. It says, why is it so difficult to get a woman to pick a place to go eat? Because her first choice caused the devastation in the fall of the world. <laughs> But, so she's got to go fix it with her children. So there's a lot of truth to that. Why is eating, why is the choice of eating for a woman so difficult to make a choice? Why? Because it's connected all the way back to the God. It's a spiritual thing. Now, the Malkut of Rachel is known as Adonai. Aleph is the Ian Sof. It's the Keter. The Yud in the word Adonai which is the last letter, is the Yud of the yud heh vav -Hey. this, is the, this is the absolute of Adam Kadmon. And the Dalid and the Nun are in the middle. This is 54, as we said before. So you have these four letters, and these, four, and these worlds are run by 18, which is the Haya, which is the life it gave it. Four times 18 is 72, and he created the world with Hesed, the gematria of Hesed is 72. Each world has its own high, its own life, 18. Then you have the worlds of Bia, which are three worlds. And three times 18 is 54, which is Dalid Nun of Adonai. This is why Jacob wanted to marry Rachel, because he knew this was the Guvarot, the den of Adonai, to, to mitigate it. This is why Yo this is why Yosef came from her. Messiah and Joseph came from her. And this is why she is not married in Machpelah, because she is the Rachel Hakatan, the lesser that has to be outside 
the gone, Machpelah is known as the gone, mm-hmm. she has to be outside of the gone, which is the higher Rachel, because she has to watch over her children. Because she is the Malchut. And every Malchut is a fractal of her mm-hmm. from creation all the way back to the end self. So the Torah is amazing and the sages are amazing and I'll see y'all next week.